Marco back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1972 Buick Skylark. This one here is a 350 under the hood, cold AC. Can be taking her down the road, pointing out any kind of flaw so you know exactly what you're getting when you get here. Check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping information. Close to 100 detailed pictures of each car on the lot and all of our inventory. I got a big update coming for you Monday, so be looking for that every Monday. We'll do a lot walk and show off all the new cars. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, gonna look around the interior. I love the dash on this one. Go ahead, place your bets. You think the horn works? A little game we like to play on this channel. There's a tack right here, a nice custom console. And this is the radio. You don't have a radio in the dash. This one is not hooked up up there. Dash is nice and clean. Interior is in great shape. Be looking for the walk around video. Going over everything on the inside out and underneath of all of the cars. We do two part videos for every car. So let's go ahead and start it up. Starts up good. Fuel gauge is coming up. AC's blowing cold. Well, once you flip that switch, it's blowing cold. That cuts the compressor on. This turns the vents up. Now it's cold. Go try the horn out. It does work on this one. Windshield wipers, they do work on this one. I can show you the miles I can't stand behind them because this is a 72. 94,000. Let's see how she drives down the road. All right, you know the deal. We're getting ready to take off, go down the road. Anything that I see that is wrong with this car, I will let you know. Speedometer's already coming up on the dash. Uh, gas gauge is floating around, around three quarters of a tank. This dash is so clean, guys. Got a tack down here in the floor, and it's working as well. It's trying to rain, but it's not doing it yet. I think this will be the last test drive of the day, though. Have to wait till tomorrow and mess around and do some more. Oh, this car feels so smooth. A little bit of slack in the steering though. You see how much plays there? It turns there, and it turns there. As far as going straight down the road, it is pulling to the left just a hair. Kick down wise, it's hooked up. We're past. Five right now turn signal wise they're popping up on the dash both ways this has definitely been replaced I mean, it's so crystal clear the clock's still not working but They stop fast. All right, I'm gonna pull in this parking lot. We're gonna get some outside shots and continue this ride. Definitely check below in the description. Little arrow below. And it tells you a little bit about the car, all of my gear that I use, and where to get it. All right, let's get these shots.
Heck yeah. Now y'all can really see how pretty this dash is. Put y'all up in the driver's seat here. We gonna hit the road. Haven't really matched on her, so let's get it. Gotta be a little careful. 5-0 to the left. As soon as I said that, I looked over and seen him. I was like, well, I'll hit the speed limit and then I'll stop. Overall, running and driving wise, this thing's nice and smooth going down the road. The suspension feels good. The steering's decent. I mean, it's got a little bit of slag in it, but nothing to complain about there. Uh, the brakes feel good. Uh, plenty of power. The response, kick down's hooked up. All the gauges are working. Pretty good little car here, especially for the price. All right, we're coming up on the road uh, with a little speed bump in it. You won't even notice it in this car. There was one, like a good example yesterday, the little C10 truck that was lowered. You noticed it in there. That, that was a help to the video running over this. So. Speed bump, nice and smooth. It was revving up high because I was getting down on the throttle a little bit. And... If I just drive it normal, it'll shift like that. All right, we're coming back up on the car a lot. I'm gonna pull back in here and uh, we're gonna do a walk around video on this one in a money. I hope y'all enjoyed the test drive. I know I did. Guys, definitely hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this all the time. Check out the walk around video of this one. Uh, every car's got two parts. All you have to do is type in 1972 Skylark Maple Motors into the YouTube search bar. If you wanna include the stock number, you can. Uh, just definitely do that. You can find all the videos. You can see all of our inventory at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping information. We do have parts, accessories, wheels, tires. I mean, if you don't like these wheels, we might be able to hook you up with something else. We do full lot walk arounds. Check out our YouTube. Try to make it interesting for you. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again.